Hello and welcome to my Ubuntu Unity review. In case you didn't know, Ubuntu before using GNOME as a desktop environment was using their own desktop which was called Unity Desktop. It was abandoned in uh, 2017 and picked up by Rudra B. Sara Swat. I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, he wanted to continue developing the Unity desktop. He started in 2020 and here it is today. It's an official Ubuntu flavor with a release of 23.10 and I'm taking a look at it today. I hope it was it is usable and enjoy. Let's start with an installation. After booting from the USB, we get the Unity desktop with an icon on the desktop that let us install Ubuntu. First thing, we are greeted with the language, we choose a language, then the keyboard layout, then we choose, we choose whether we install the third party software, uh, this means drivers and codecs and so on then we partition the drive our drive and we put in our location then our username and a password we create a strong password like i did here and we let it install Okay, when it comes to the desktop, Unity looks unique and it looks refreshing, it's beautiful. You can clearly see that is something amazing with the, the side dock and the top panel, it, it has character, it simply has character. It's something that other distros, other desktops doesn't have. This is Unity 7.7, .7, the latest. It looks sleek with the side dock that extends to the menu of apps with a blur under it. It looks brilliant, I think. It looks beautiful. It's something amazing. What I like about the Unity desktop is it's, it's different from other desktop environments. I like how it's lightweight, it feels snappy, and it provides features that are, that are, if done correctly, would be amazing. Like the global menu and the HUD. Although they have problems here, we will talk about later. I think if it's continued development of it and uh, supporting Wayland, I think it would be a solid desktop environment. I like it from customization standpoint also and here's what I don't like first of all there are, there are two different system settings a system settings and a unity tweak tool the system settings app look like an XFCE settings app it is organized it is good setting app the problem is when you have to settings app the user get confused they should integrate the unity uh, settings customizations into the settings app that would be better i don't like the calendar widget it looks outdated and mal designed the other problem is gtk4 apps don't work well with this desktop environment as you can't close it as you see that is um, something to be looked on by the developers so to taking a look at uh, how it runs and how I think it's a beautiful 
unique desktop environment that offers a refreshing user experience. The feel of it is something amazing, but it has some flaws and it needs to be developed more. For the future, I think if the development continues, it would be a solid contender for being one of the best desktop environments. But as it stands now, it's lacking in different parts. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this short review of Ubuntu Unity, basically the Unity desktop. Subscribe if you can and have a good one. Thank you.